guys, since we'll be heading into the Christmas season soon, I wanted to take a trip to the Yankee Candle flagship store in South Deerfield, Massachusetts before it gets too busy and crowded there. And I wanted to see what they have for Christmas this year and bring you guys along. Okay, let's go check it out. So they have this sunflower collection, um, which would be perfect for like summer and fall. They also have the balsam and cedar candles here. These smell so good burning in the house. I feel like these are just perfect at Christmas time. They have an autumn wreath candle as well. This would be perfect for Thanksgiving. Still have fall stuff out. Okay, so we are going into the Black Forest. They have the sign on the door here. And in here, they have everything you could probably ever think of or want for your Christmas village. If you collect the little houses and stores and all that for the little Christmas village scenes, this place has probably the biggest of anywhere I have ever seen. They have a huge collection of items here. And there's a little train that runs along a track up by the ceiling when you walk in. The Christmas villages are amazing though. They, they really thought of it all. There is a Christmas in the City collection. And they're all pine branches hanging from the ceiling, so you feel kind of like you're outside at night in a forest or something, like in a magical sort of way. So then into the Bavarian village, and here you get some artificial snow. They rain down or snow down some artificial snow every four minutes so this is really fun the kids love this There are so many ornaments, so many bird ornaments, hummingbirds, cardinals, these are beautiful, blue jays, so many birds.
So there's a Santa room that we just saw along with this nativity room. some really pretty things here but it's definitely not a cheap place to shop for ornaments most of these ornaments really seem to be like almost ten dollars each they also have a st. Patrick's theme room for Christmas decor center of the main room is a collection of the coolest glass ornaments. They have everything in here from fruit and cupcakes, eggs and bacon ornaments. Hamburgers, fries, Uh, it's a kitchen aid mixer, chef hats, an Oreo cookie. A bottle of elf ale. White and red wine bottles. And I think this is a steak. I'm not sure why you'd want this on your tree, but I guess it would be cute to give to someone you know that really likes steak for their tree or something. Also gingerbread men, gingerbread houses, candy canes. I feel like this one would almost be really cute to attach on like a cookie platter or a gift or something like a festive little topper and then the person could keep it and hang out on their tree after. Unicorns. Sunflowers, fall leaves, this would be perfect if you do a fall tree. These are all gorgeous and they're so fun and unique. You know, they do seem kind of delicate and they're glass, so I think these might not be a good idea if you have little kids running around like we do. So I don't think I'll be getting any of these as beautiful as they are. I think if they fell, they would probably break. They would make cute gift ideas though to bring to like an ornament exchange party or something like that or maybe for one of those $10 like secret Santa gifts sometimes you do at work parties. Or even if you find like a special custom ornament that's for someone like they have this teacher one and like a gift for your kid's teacher. Or if you know someone who graduated recently. And then how cute are these fuzzy animals? Oh, I love this deer. And they have two walls of glass ornaments here. If you can think of it, it's probably here. There is such a huge selection. These are so cool. I bet these would be gorgeous on a fall tree, a Tuscan themed tree, or as a gift for maybe a wine lover. These are so gorgeous. So they all seem to be about $9.99, so $10 each. And then they have these angel ornaments with little quotes on them. These are really cute. Mm -hmm. 
So they have it all set up here like you're walking around outside at night at Christmas time in this Bavarian village and then each little room like off to the side of it it's like walking into like a little store like a little shop from from the village here. It's really cool the layout of this place. So out in the little center village square kind of thing that they have set up here. So you're inside, but you kind of feel like you're outside here, like outside of this castle entry at night. And they have a waterfall, like real water in here. And the lights that are up in the ceiling, it's like twinkling stars at night, like in the night sky. It's really cool. And then from here, we enter this castle room. Okay, and next we go into Santa's workshop and there this is like a toy store there are so many toys uh, you could probably complete Christmas shopping for all the kids you're buying gifts for and then you look up at the ceiling like around the whole top they have these gifts that are just kind of on the track here so they're circling around but it's really cool little kids they love to look up and see this my daughter was like amazed with presents presents <laughs> in the sky also bring your kids in to see Santa. I've heard that as Christmas gets closer, um, sometimes the lines can be even up to a couple hours long if you're going in December, but it might not be so bad if you go this month in November. There was actually no wait when we went.
right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for coming shopping with me. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. I will also be posting um, a haul with what I actually picked up along with a giveaway with a couple items that I picked up that I want to give away to one of you guys. So be sure to check that video out. It will be probably posted in the next week or so. And I will see you all soon with another video. Bye. We wish you a